Today it's about tints and shades. I'm going to use Blitcrylic paint, blue and red, and white and black. I'm going to start with tints and I'm going to use the blue. Now put out the red for the shades, but first I'm going to do tints with white. You need white to create tints. So first I'm going to just make one little swatch of just the blue and then gradually add white to each of the swatches after adding a little bit of white, a little bit more white to each swatch. As I go along, check out what I'm doing and see if you think there would be a better way for me to do this. I'll give you a hint. I have a palette here that would be great for mixing the paint a little bit at a time. Palettes are very useful for mixing paints and doing it the way I'm doing it right now. I'm using way more paint than I need and my swatches, as you can see, are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. One thing you learn about mixing paints is it's very easy to waste paint, especially when you're working with acrylics, because it's easy to squirt out a bunch of paint and then be left with too much. So let's start using the palette instead. And that way I can gradually add a little bit of white, add a little bit more white, for each swatch and I'm not wasting any paint. I'm using very little instead of continually adding more and more white to the swatch which makes the swatch bigger and bigger. So obviously it's going to be different for everybody. The swatches are going to be a little bit different but if they're gradually getting lighter and lighter, you will be able to match. Now I'm using black, and black is for shades. So you can remember that because when you look at your shadow, it appears to be black. It's not really, but it's definitely darker. So think of it that way. I'm using my palette and I'm adding more and more black to each one and see how much faster I can do it when I'm using my palette instead. And there you go.